This video is part of a larger series on a project for the Element 14 community, the electronics and engineering community where you can connect and collaborate with top engineers from around the world. Join now at element14.com, link in the doobly doo. Alexa. Is your name Alexa? I'm flattered, but that's not me. I'm your Google assistant. What can I do for you? Greetings programs, Atari here, you there, and if you are interested in little hackery electronics type projects that you can do while you are holed up in some kind of a quarantine, then go ahead and click that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And tally-ho! This is the Google AIY Voice Kit. It's a fun little kit that uh, came out a few years ago and they've kind of had a few iterations since, but it's really the OG DIY AI development kit. It's a Raspberry Pi, a custom hat, and a few other odds and ends all tucked inside a little cardboard box. Now, you have seen me put this together in a previous video. Um, you can check out the link up there in the corner if you haven't so far. But I kind of don't like the whole like, okay Google thing. And of course, everything else, see my phone just popped up. Now to alleviate this problem, I wanna set up a custom wake word on this device. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do just that using a platform called Snowboy. Okay, SSH'd into the pie. Let's just make sure that this thing works. Okay, Google. Tell me something interesting. Mental Floss says that the ocean looks blue because it absorbs blue wavelengths of light from the sky more slowly than the other colors. Okay, so that works. Now we just need to get the custom wake word set up. Okay. So to get our custom wake word set up, we're going to use a service called Snowboy. And it's basically just an open source, top layer hot word detection engine that allows you to program or train custom wake word models to go with whatever sort of little voice activated assistant thing that you're trying to do. So in order to install Snowboy, we need to do a couple of things. We're going to install a few dependencies and then we're going to uh, compile our own version of it for uh, the Raspberry Pi. So over here on the Pi, we're going to install both versions, Python, Python 2, and Python 3's version of Pi Audio. And it's just a uh, just an audio processing layer for Python, as well as Sox, which is a uh, it's a Linux-based uh, audio file format converter. Now we install the uh, Py Audio Python package. <clears throat> now to compile uh, Snowboy, we're going to use the Swig uh, interface compiler. It's like a C, C++ compiler. So we need to grab that, install a few dependencies. Then we need to uncompress and then start configuring. Make, maker's gonna make. Now, of course, I'll be putting all of this in the show notes, uh, link in the doobly doo so you can grab all that too. Groovy. And we just install. Okay. Then we just have to install the Atlas matrix computing library. Okay, and then we just need to record a little sample and make sure that our microphone works. Testing, testing. Testing, testing. Fancy. Okay, now that we've got all our prerequisites, we can clone the Snowboy repository. It's going very slowly right now because my wife is playing World of Warcraft and that's taking up all the bandwidth right now. <laughs> oh, there it goes. There we go. I just blame it on WoW. It's okay. All right. Then we change to the Snowboy directory and then our Swig Python directory and we compile the Python node or the Python wrapper, whatever. Lovely. So the Snowboy package comes with a collection of example model hot words that you can use to test it. Uh, a computer or Jarvis or 
like Alexa or Snowboy. So we're going to use one of these to test just to make sure everything worked. Okay, so let's try this thing out. We're gonna use the uh, included Python demo and it's just gonna ding when it hears the hot word. And you'll notice that you have to use the absolute file path for the model. That's just how it works. So hold on to your butts. Snowboy. Yes. Ha ha! Snowboy. 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 Yes. Fancy. Okay. So that's set up. Now we just got to connect Snowboy to, <laughs> to the Google Assistant and we're going to be in good shape. Now we've got to connect Snowboy to Google Assistant. So basically we're going to set something on top of Google Assistant that's basically gonna block the microphones from listening to everything that's going on and it's only going to listen for one specific keyword. And when that hot word comes up, then it's actually going to open the microphone so that Google Assistant can do what it's doing or what it's going to do. And to do that, we're going to use a little piece called G Assist Pi. And this thing is ridiculously well featured and that's why I wanna use it is because it's got so many features. It's like a laundry list of everything in the kitchen sink. It talks to Cody, it talks to Push Bullet, it, it does Google Music, it does Deezer, it talks to Spotify, it talks to YouTube Music. It controls a lot of stuff. Now, it's more than I really need right now, but I love the extensibility of it. So that's what I'm gonna use. So it's actually really simple to get set up. We just need to clone the project, install a few configuration files, and run the installer script. It's really super simple. Assistant.json. Uh, the project ID, this is the uh, actions console um, on, uh, on Google. Uh, this is your project ID, your project name, your project ID. Basically, you go to uh, console.actions.google.com and then you can see your project up here in the corner and project settings will take you right there. The model ID is a little bit different. This is in your... Um, this is in the API keys, the credentials section. Uh, so I can't show you... <laughs> much of this, uh, but you have basically, this is the API, um, the client ID that you create, and you can click on that. So then that's the model name. And then over here on the side, you'll see the client ID. And the part that you need is the numerical value uh, before the hyphen. Now, of course, you won't be able to see any of this, so you're gonna have to take my word for it. And then we just let it install. There's, there's a lot of packages that this GSS Pi script installs. Uh, VLC and Pulse Audio and MPlayer and, and all these different things that it installs in order to get all of this functionality working. So it's gonna take a few minutes. So, you know, pour yourself a cup of tea and, you know, wait for the ride. Okay, and once it's done, you're going to get a URL that you have to open in your web browser. That's going to ask you to connect your Google account to the project and allow various things so that Google can do what it does with your device. Then it'll give you a key, an authorization code that you paste in there, and it's done. It's ready to go. And let's just go ahead and give it a test real quick. I love that startup. Okay, Google, tell me something interesting. It says on Wikipedia that a cockroach can hold its breath for 40 minutes. So that works. Now we gotta go into the settings and change the wake word, and then we'll be able to try that out. And those settings are located in the GSS Pi folder, well, GSS Pi slash SRC folder. So here's you got all the different uh, declarations, all the custom parameters. Uh, you can even program specific conversations in here. So if you ask a specific question, it will give you like one of a set of answers. So you could do like a magic eight ball 
kind of a thing or or whatever you wanted to uh, <laughs> whatever you wanted to try out. But all the way down here at the bottom, we've got the wake words. So OK Google is enabled. So we're actually going to disable that. Snowboy. The mic's back on. I like how it tells me that the mic is muted and uh, turned on. Okay, and this is just pure blasphemy, but I want to do it because I can. Alexa. The mic's back on. Is your name Alexa? I'm flattered, but that's not me. I'm your Google assistant. What can I do for you? Isn't that wonderful? Great. So we now have a new and improved Google Assistant that works a lot more like how I would want this sort of a thing to work. Uh, I still have to mess around a little bit with the configuration files, but the big thing is that I need to train a new hot word. And I'm going to show you how to do that in the next video. So go ahead, click the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. Connect with me on Twitter at Airborne Surfer. You can see photos of projects in progress on Instagram at The Airborne Surfer. Over here is a video that YouTube thinks you will probably enjoy, and somewhere right around here are the show notes where you can get the code and everything else you need to follow along with this video. My name is Atari, and until next time, remember, it's okay. It's just a prototype. Tally ho, y'all.